Hi, I'm Steve with Tronics Fix, and it's time to talk about thermal paste. One thing that I hear a lot uh, from people on my website or people sending in repairs is they think that their problem is caused by the thermal paste, or I get people that say, I replaced the thermal paste, but the problem is still there. One thing I want to make really clear is that your problem is 99.99% not caused by thermal paste. Uh, thermal paste has one job and that is to transfer heat from the chip to the heat sink. That's the only thing thermal paste is for. So unless your console is 10 years old and you've played it a whole bunch and it gets really hot and it overheats, um, that's one case where it could be the thermal paste. But any of the game consoles that you have that turn on and then turn back off or just have the blinking blue light or they don't send signal to the TV, or they give you an error code, um, any of those, it's not gonna be caused by the thermal paste. So just, uh, you can just rule that out right now so you don't have to worry about replacing the thermal paste. Um, in fact, if you do decide to do that, I would say there's a good chance you'll cause more damage if you don't know what you're doing taking your game console apart. So um, just keep that in mind. Don't consider the thermal paste as one of the causes of your problem. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a game console and show you the thermal paste and what it does and why it's there. So here we have a PlayStation 4 game console with the top covers removed. I've also taken this apart already but kind of laid it back on there so you can see what you would see if you were taking this apart. So I've taken all these screws out that go along the outer um, edge of this metal piece. So that would come off like this. You can see thermal pads on all of these that go on all these chips right here to help keep those cool. And then you would take this out. This is the motherboard. I've taken it out already so I've made it easy for myself to take out. And then on the underside of the motherboard you can see where the thermal paste is located. We've got thermal paste on the chip and thermal paste on the heat sink. And you can see this thermal paste, um, let's take a little bit of it up and see, it's kind of crusty and crumbly, um, really not the best thermal paste. And same here, you can see it's just kind of crumbly and crusty, it's not um, nice and wet. So um, you can see what most of them look like when we get them in. There's a lot that are even a lot more crumbly than this. And so you can see that it's not the best fresh uh, thermal paste that they put in these things. So let's take a look. I've got a actually a cutout view of the heat sink right here. So this is what you can see right here. Actually it goes around this way. And you can see that this is the heat sink here. This is what's on the other side. This is the actual heat sink. Um, just a heat interchanger. The heat goes through these tubes and is located well, right under here. So the heat is transferred onto this metal plate, which is transferred through these tubes and into these fins right here. And you can see the air moves through these fins, which cools it, and that's what keeps the, this chip cool. So you can see exactly what the thermal compound does, and you can see why it would be bad if it got really old and crusty to a point where it couldn't make good contact with this right here. That's the key to the thermal paste, is making good contact with the heat sink. That's its main function. So that shows you what thermal paste is, what it does, and why it's probably not the cause of your problem. Now, when we get a console in, we usually do replace the thermal paste if we have to take the motherboard out. The reason for that is because we're already in there, um, we might as well just go ahead and replace it with good quality thermal paste that'll last a long time. The thermal paste that um, Sony puts in these consoles doesn't seem to be the best, but as I said before, it's probably not going to cause any problems. It can cool just fine, um, just how it is. But we do replace it just because we want to do the best job possible, and since we're already there, it's not um, hard to do and it's a fairly cheap thing to do so we do replace it when we have the motherboard out of the console if you have any questions or want to know more about it feel free to leave a comment below or contact me on our website and we can talk a little bit more about this and help you figure out your problem thanks